Chris, what is our first main topic today? Our first topic is going to come from Thomas. Dear John and gang, in a recent interview, Matt Reeves stated that he was going to meet Gunn and Safran in the next few weeks to know more about their DCU plan, which we are supposed to get news about in the next few days. He also stated that his Batverse would stay its own thing. What can this mean? No Batman in the DCU or multiple Batmen, contrary to Zaslav instructions? This seems messy, don't you think? Thanks. All right, Thomas, thanks a lot for saying that in. And yeah, a lot of the big questions have been going around about with the new regime coming in to, well, it's not even a new regime. There's a brand new studio. DC Studios is its own studio for the first time. They have the new heads, James Gunn, Peter Safran. But besides the questions about what will James Gunn and Peter Safran do with this DC universe, what kind of world are they going to create? The other question has been, how will this affect an ongoing thing that DC has in Matt Reeves' The Batman? Will... Matt Reeves' The Batman continue to be its own thing? Will it be absorbed into the DC you know, universe that James Gunn is creating? A lot of people have always asked these questions. We've told people for a long time it's going to be staying its own separate thing. But now Matt Reeves has told everybody, yes, it's, it's going to be its own thing. It's moving on. Now, as far as is it messy, I don't think it's messy at all. I don't think it's remotely messy. I actually, I've been calling for co these comic book studios Going back six, seven years, I've been calling for them to create some side, you know, independent movies that are outside of the shared cinematic universe so you, the storytellers can have more creative freedom to tell some really cool, interesting stories that you simply can't do within shared cinematic universes because your hands get handcuffed because of all the continuity going on in all the other movies that are outside of the director's control. I love my shared cinematic universe movies, don't get me wrong. But it doesn't have to be either or, it should be a both and. Anyway, addressing this right on, Matt Reeves talked about the fact that they are separate, but that he is getting together to talk with James Gunn. This comes to us from Matt Reeves, uh, who said the following. We've talked a few times, talking about him and James Gunn. Um, we've talked a few times. I'm supposed to get together with him and Peter sometime this month. Uh, they've been working feverishly uh, doing what they're doing, and I've been working hard with my partners on what we're doing, all of our shows and stuff. So we're going to have a sit down where we talk about everything that's going on and what the arcs of these two things are. I'm excited to hear about what they're doing. They have big. They have a big plan, and I have a big plan and I have this big bat verse plan. Uh, it's just about us really getting to know each other. That's going to be fun. And of course, that comes to us from Matt Reeves. And of course, it's important because James Gunn and Peter Safran are now kind of going to be the people over Matt Reeves' Batman movie. But I love the fact, listen, there's been a number of things that James Gunn and Peter Safran have done that have really impressed me. Like we've talked about the fact that, you know, they didn't send a text message to Henry Cavill. They got together and sat down with Henry Cavill. Yeah. Right? They he they had a discussion with Dwayne The Rock Johnson. They could have just sent minions to deliver decrees and stuff like that, but they actually, in the first days of taking over, they set up meetings, they sat down, and they actually talked face-to-face -face with people or di communicated directly with them regardless. One of the things I love about this story is that, you know if James Gunn was some kind of control freak? The first thing he would have done when he walked in and says, summon Matt Reeves to my office. And I, I want to, I want him to explain to me what he's doing in the new Batman. I'm going to tell him what I want to do. No, you know what he's done? He's diving in and all the other stuff, but he knows Matt Reeves is doing great with Batman. So he's like, I don't need to get in his way right now. He's doing the Batman movie. He did a great thing with the first one. He's got all of his momentum going with developing and writing the second one right now. Just stay out of his way. Let, it's a separate thing. Doesn't matter. We'll catch up when we can catch up. It's not that important. I loved hearing that. I absolutely loved hearing that. It just really shows me again that James Gunn and Peter Safran understand how to set priorities and to follow them. I love it. Now, again, back to the question about is it going to be messy? I don't think it's going to be messy at all. Also, we, we've talked about this a couple of times. The David Zaslav comment about multiple Batman has been misconstrued. And we talked about it the very first day that he made the comment. Because if you read David Zaslav's actual statement, he didn't say there could not be more than one. He was just emphasizing that you're not going to have a bunch of them. You're not going to have a bunch of Batman running around, right? That doesn't mean you can't have two. One in its own separate storyline and one that lives in the DCEU. I think that's great. That is what I have wanted for many years. So I'm happy that they're doing it. And um, it's going to be neat to see how both of these progress. But no, we're not going to see them cross over anytime. And nor should we. Uh, like, Rob, we've made the point before that Matt, one of the things that's great about Matt Reeves' Batman is the whole tone and the DNA of that Batverse 
is not a universe that a flying alien with laser beams coming out of his eyes can right. live in, right? The DCU can do that. That world that Matt Reeves created doesn't fit. I don't know. What do you think about the comments we just heard? Well, I think you're absolutely right. Look, Matt Reeves has created his singular, the same way Nolan did it, he did his own thing too. The tone is different. People talk about how it's very Fincher-esque, and it is. Batman, I mean, I'll tell you what shocked me about that movie was at the beginning of the film, Batman walks into a crime scene packed with police. Yeah. You know, that was that was immediately it announced itself as something new and different that we hadn't seen before. And I I I loved it for being that. And like you said, it's not part of a larger universe. It's its own thing. And we as viewers, we understand we watched Nolan's Bat trilogy. In Nolan's universe, there were no other superheroes. It was just Batman and Gotham City. And I think that's easy to understand. We are savvy audience members now. We've seen it all. We've been here for a long time. And I think that again. What they're going to design also is going to be its own singular thing. It's going to be a universe that is not a bunch of disparate filmmakers. It's coming from a place of design up front. They're going to invite other people to play in this sandbox. But like Kevin Feige and Luis Desposito and Victoria Alonso, Marvel created a thing, a framework. Other directors come in and work within that framework, but there's still a framework. And we haven't had that at DC before. It's been willy-nilly. It's been all over the place. And I think what Peter Safran and James Gunn are going to do is create this lattice work of what they want from this universe. And they're going to even say to filmmakers what Kevin Feige did. Hey, because James Gunn was one of them. He was one of the filmmakers. Kevin Feige said, come here. Here are the parameters you need to work with it. I mean, and I think James Gunn is going to take a page from that book and be like, okay, come play in this sandbox and the batman that they create for that sandbox is going to be very different from what matt reeves is doing yeah so it's going to be very distinguishable both in look and tone so i think it's going to work great and uh, john i think we'll get it i yeah. think we're smart and savvy I, I think enough we'll understand. get it yeah we'll, I think it. we'll understand and it'll be great it'll be fun chris i mean we're we're now hearing these comments from matt reeves talking about it i hear them all the time yeah <laughs> where i mean there are still going to be people that would want to see because a lot of people love the Batman movie. So it's understandable that a lot of people would then say, well, I'd love to see that Batman character that I loved in the Matt Reeves movie. I would love to see him interact with a Green Lantern and with a Superman and with an Oliver Queen. I mean, I, I get that. Yeah, well, we love the character. But I don't know, like hearing his comments, do you think that will ever really be in the cards for, for this Robert Pattinson Batman? I mean, potentially we could move on to Crisis on Infinite Earths with these characters, right? And we can have them all in their pocket universes doing their own thing. And then maybe one day they all come together. But if they don't, that's not a big deal. I mean, we've talked about this ad nauseum on this show that viewers are smart enough to understand, you know, Joaquin Phoenix's Joker, he's not hanging out with, you know, the Justice League and duking it out with Henry Cavill, right? We understood that was a totally different thing than Jared Leto's Joker. You can have all these different characters and it's totally fine. If Pattinson were to come in and play with everybody in the big sandbox though, that'd be super, super fun. I love his Batman. I think it's great, it's gritty, but it just depends on what kind of universe they all wanna build if they want to build to that at some point. Is that what they're gonna come right out the gate with? Absolutely not. You're not gonna be like, hey, by the way, we just created this new universe. There's multiple universes. Let's destroy them all. That'd be a wild choice. All right, guys, question is for you. What do you think about Matt Reeves' comments here and him basically kind of laying out that, yeah, there's the DCU, and there's this pocket Batman universe. I think that's the way for them to go. I think that's how they're going to enjoy their biggest success. They've already shown they've had huge success with this formula with both the Joker and the Batman now. Anyway, what do you guys think is going to happen here? Whatever you guys think, jump down into the comment section below. Then let us know your thoughts. Guys, we want to take a second and thank the sponsor of this video, Helix Sleep. Guys, let me tell you, just a couple of days ago, Ann and I received our Helix mattress, and it is the best mattress we have ever slept on in our entire lives. We had like this $3,000 specialized mattress that we got like five, six years ago, and we liked it very much, but this one completely outdoes it. It's night and day and you can get matched with your perfect mattress too. See, Helix Sleep has a quiz that takes just like a minute to complete, and it matches your body type and sleep preferences to the perfect mattress for you. Why would you buy a mattress made for somebody else? With Helix, you're getting a mattress that you know will be perfect for the way that you sleep. I hopped online, took the Helix quiz, and Anna and I were matched with the perfect mattress for us, and it is so easy to set up. Simply take it out of the box, get it positioned on your mattress, take off the plastic, and then give it an hour to 
to breathe to reach its full size, and you will not believe how comfortable this thing is. All you got to do is go to helixsleep.com slash campia. Take their 60 second sleep quiz and they'll match you to a customized mattress that will give you the best sleep of your life. And it's risk free. They have a 10 year warranty and you get to try it out for 100 nights. They'll even pick it up for you if you don't love it, but you will. Helix even has financing options and flexible payment plans. So a great night's sleep is never far away. And here's the best part. Helix is offering up to $200 off of all mattress orders and two free pillows for our listeners at helixsleep.com com slash campia 